Hello, everybody. This is Mom Life with KK. I am KK Smith. I'm coming to you today with a quick video on going back to school when you are older. So I have three tips. So a little something about me. I have a hair salon and um, I have, I'm sorry, I talk a lot with my hands. Um, I am a mother of four. I have two grown children and two younger children. Uh, I'm a busy mom. I'm a very involved mom. So, you know, as you can imagine, life gets busy, life gets crazy. So I have some three awesome tips that are going to help you if you want to go back to school and get your life recharged, push the restart button in your life. So the first tip that I have for you is don't overthink it. Um, overthinking this gives us so much anxiety it gives us so much sometimes depression and oftentimes a lot of comparison so we're not going to overthink it we're going to just think of it like this so i used to think of it like oh man i am going back to school at such an older age and then i start changing my mind to this I am learning something new. God has given me a new vision. And so the vision that I had when I was in my 20s, that's no longer feasible for me. I want to do something fresh. I want to do something new. I want to learn something new. And so as soon as I started changing my perspective, my mind about it, guess what? Everything else started changing. I wanted to move forward. So the second thing that I would give you is get you a friend that's much younger than you that is in the field that you want to be in here's why one thing i've learned about growing and learning and turning pages in my life is that i am not the smartest or the sharpest crayon in the box when i want to do something new so if i have an idea okay say i want to learn sewing i want to learn sewing but i don't have a clue as to how to do it and a lot of times people that are much younger than us they have so many fresh ideas they have so many uh so much um momentum that we might have lost because of things have happened along the way and you know so i would advise you to get someone that's fresher that's that's more creative um that's younger and sometimes they could be older and they have a lot of energy they have a lot of momentum in them but what I have found is that uh, a lot of my younger friends are pulling me forward in technology. They're pulling me forward in um, executing things faster than I would because I have these old systems sometimes. And I have these systems that I've been stuck in for a long time. So my third clue is, not clue, but my third tip is when you're ready to go back to school at an earlier age, take everybody with you and what do i mean by that i mean if it's your kids if it's your husband you're gonna have to have them to employ their time their efforts so uh what does that look like for me for me you know my children i have taught them to be responsible at an early early age uh, my daughters have been washing their clothes since they were six years old so but with going back to school i need everybody to do their part um solicit your help if you can't get back down to pick up the kids solicit someone to help you um a friend um tell your children what you're doing a lot of times children are so excited to know that their parents are reaching for different goals and reaching for the stars and with my children um i enlighten them and i take them with me um if, if there's a workshop on health on campus i take them with me if there's an opportunity to volunteer i take them with me um the same thing with my husband um I, sometimes he quizzes me on things that I'm going through. And if he's taking a new class, I do that for him as well. So this is Mom Life with KK. And what I want to say is never stop moving, never stop growing. And until next time, I'm KK Smith. Live your best life.